As Glenda Stevens shows her grandson the dirt mound where she's buried Sweetie, the earth begins to move. Seeing her legs sticking out of the ground. So my grandson walks over, bends down, and he hollers out, Sweetie's alive, Sweetie's alive. I was mad at myself. Why didn't I wait longer? You know, I just, I don't know, just my, just felt like something just was pulling my heart out. Sweetie survives the burial, but Glenda fears she still might die from the injuries she suffered in the accident. I just brought her in the house and cleaned her up and then took her to the vet. The vet said to, you know, put her to sleep. There wasn't nothing they could do for her. She was, her jaw was broke and her foot was broke. Glenda cannot afford the expensive surgery, but she will not allow the dog to be put to sleep. She determines to do all she can to keep her cherished pet alive. So we fed her with a spoon. We brought her home, and I told her, I said, fine. If that's the way we had to feed her, that's the way we'll feed her with a spoon. When a St. Louis television station runs a story on the little dog who came back from the grave, Mark Lucas, a veterinarian, wants to help. The owner didn't have a lot of money. What can we do about it? So we took x-rays of her jaw and evaluated her condition. Dr. Lucas donates his services for Sweetie's care. And she is rushed immediately into surgery at the Animal Hospital in Wentzville, Missouri. This fracture, the jaw fracture that Sweetie had, needed to be repaired surgically. We needed to make an incision through the skin isolate the fracture and actually use wires to connect it back together again. Thanks to the skillful work of Dr. Lucas, Sweetie is up in no time at all. Well, Sweetie's recovery was very fast. Actually, the day after surgery, she was already eating dry food. Come on. There you go. Now that Sweetie is recovered, people still wonder how Glenda could possibly have concluded that Sweetie was dead. It's just speculation because I wasn't there, but that Sweetie's a rather rotund little dog. And if she got hit in the head by the mail truck, that wouldn't be enough to knock her out and break her jaw. Her respirations would be very shallow. Sweetie was also overweight. This excess fat could make it very difficult for Glenda to feel the weak pulse. Sweetie was just fat. That's what Dr. Lucas told me. Just fat. <laughs> She's just now on federal dog food. Little treats. treats and that. Doggy treats. That's all she gets. Come on. Again. Showing off her new waistline and grateful for a second chance at life, Sweetie has more energy than ever. People tell me, you know, it's a miracle that she dug herself up like that. And I know it just... No country girl's done a mistake. Come on, sweetie. Doing great. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs>